Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. Hope you're having an awesome day. And today I'm talking about a brand new product from my friends over at Topaz Labs. And that product is called Topaz Adjust AI. And yes, the AI stands for artificial intelligence. They've got some AI built into this product. I've been using it for about a week now. And I'm gonna walk through a demonstration of the product, uh, give you my thoughts about it and show you how to use it. So it's kind of a first look video kind of a little bit of a review video, kind of a little bit of a demo video, but I want to show the product because I really like it. And, um, you know, I'll tell you a quick little story, and that is when I first uh, picked up a camera and started editing photos, let's call it 10 years ago or so, um, the first product I ever bought um, that was a plug-in was Topaz Adjust, right? I had iPhoto on this Mac uh, laptop that I had, and, um, you know, I was just dragging a couple of sliders and I was like, eh, I suck at this. Um, I went and bought Topaz Adjust because I read on people's blogs and heard from other people like, yeah, you should get Topaz Adjust. So that was the first plugin I ever bought. And I was blown away about how much you could do with a photo. I couldn't believe it. And, um, you know, in, in years since, I've used a lot of other products as well. But I've always had a fondness for Topaz Adjust because it was, you know, kind of like my first love, if you will, in terms of post-processing. Um, but it's always been a good, reliable product, and now it's gotten even better. So I want to jump into that. Um, let me just show you. So let's just hop in. Here we go. Now this is the, um, this is, I just want to point out, this is a beta version. The real version comes out today. I'll put a link down below and you can purchase it there. And to be clear, that's an affiliate link. So if you use uh, that link to purchase, I do get a small commission that helps support me in all these free training videos. And I will be doing more videos on Topaz products as I continue to uh, build up the playlist, which I have right there for all my Topaz stuff. Uh, the product is selling. It's on special promotional offer at launch for $59.99, and that's through July 8th. Um, at that point, it'll, after July 8th, so I guess July 9th, it'll go to its regular price, which is $79.99, so you can save 20 bucks. Also, you can use my coupon code, JimNix, just my name, uh, and that'll save 15% off. So you can get it for $20 off the price plus another 15% off with coupon code JimNix. Again, it doesn't cost you anything extra and it gives me a small commission, which is super helpful and I appreciate it. Let's get into the product. Okay, so here's the, um, here's the, uh, the interface, right? And I started to tell you and I didn't finish something. One second. That is, you'll see up here it says beta. Um, I've been working with it for about a week or so, and it's been through about three revisions. It's gotten better and faster and gotten more capabilities every time. I'm recording this prior to launch, of course, um, and I don't have the final version, so there may be some minor tweaks between what you're seeing in this video and what you actually get when you purchase. Um, I don't believe anything is going to go away. I think they're going to add more, more presets and maybe some UI changes. I don't think that there's going to be any massive changes to the major components of the product. But I did want to point that out, but there may be some minor differences because I'm still in beta. I don't have the final release, but I got to record the video now so that I can get this out when the product is ready to go. So here we go. Okay, so here's your interface. You've got your main screen here. Uh, here you can do a split, right? I haven't done anything, so there's no difference. And here you can say, let me show me the original or the edited. We'll get to that in a minute. This allows you to fit to screen and this allows you to zoom in. You can also zoom in or out with that. I generally leave it fit at 100. Um, scrolling over here, you have the collections of presets. You can make and save your own, which I've done here, and they show up here in the general um, category. Now, you know, they may or may not look good on this image. They're presets I've been experimenting with, and, um, you know, overall, they're kind of blue, uh, but there's a lot of blue in this photo. I personally kind of like this black and white one, even though if you've seen any of my videos, you know I love my colors. Um, quite a few presets built in, and like I said, probably more coming at launch, and so, I, don't, I think you'll see more presets than what you see here. But there are a number of different categories and they're organized by style. Um, that is basically your preset section and that's your main menu. But you can jump over here to controls, you click on that, and this is where you get into the editing of the photo. So I'm gonna hit reset. Let me close these menus because I wanna talk about this for a minute. Um, you can see all the different components that are built in. Now. Here you've got your, your window, right? So if you're doing the zoom, you can see that it zooms in there and then you can move around and check things out. I'm gonna go back to fit. Um, that's what that window's for. And of course you can collapse it if you would like to. 
Um, here is this section called Auto Adjust AI, and that's where the AI component of this product comes in. Again, AI is artificial intelligence, and basically what they've done is they spent a lot of time and energy training their neural network on how to make images that pop. And so you've basically got two AI settings. You've got your standard setting and your HD style setting. And so I'm gonna click on standard, and you can see it automatically gives me a nice little pop to the photo. And I think the cool thing about this is it's all very natural looking. And in fact, let me hit HDR style. And if you see how quick that is, um, even the HDR style to me looks pretty natural. It does not look like over the top HDR. Um, the great thing about this product is it includes a couple of other components that I'll talk about in a minute, but it, it's great at reducing or minimizing uh, artifacts and halos and things like that. So. It's not a true HDR because this is a single exposure. That's why it's called HDR style. But as you can see, very natural looking and uh, I think great looking uh, photo. You also have a strength slider here on the auto adjust tab. So you can just pull this down and say, all right, I like HDR style, Jim, but I wanna give it a 57 instead of 100. So there you go. Or you can go over to standard and say, I liked it, but you know, at 100 is too much. So maybe I wanna bring it down to 85 or whatever, right? So that's kind of how that works. I'm gonna go back. Uh, and just hit reset, and I wanna get into these menus. So as you click on each of these, they do a drop down. Now brightness is pretty straightforward. You can change the exposure, you know, up or down, right? So I'm gonna hit reset. Um, you've got a contrast slider here. There's a contrast tab down below. We're gonna get into that in a second. This contrast here is a global contrast slider. So um, it's, it's not uh, discriminatory in any way. It's just a global contrast slider. Um, highlights and shadows, right? Pretty typical um, stuff I think that you'll see there. Shadows, right? You can take that down and whites and blacks. So that tab I think is pretty straightforward. The next one is color. You've got temperature and tint and saturation level. So generally I start at the top. So I'd start with brightness and maybe I'd say I want to add a little global contrast, maybe take down the highlights, maybe drop the shadows a little bit. Got a pretty nice looking image. Uh, maybe I want to change the temperature a tad and maybe bump up the saturation just a little bit. And here's where the split screen comes in, right? You can see I've got a nice looking photo and I've done literally almost nothing to it. Now, some of that is owing to the, just the raw natural beauty of the photo. I'm not saying Jim took a great photo. Jim really didn't have to do anything here. I, I literally got out of the car and said, God, that's a great view. And I stood there and I took a photo. This is in uh, outside of Jackson Hole, Wyoming, looking at the Grand Tetons. Um, and this is the original, right? So you can turn off the split, look at original, and compare it to your current state, or you can do the, the, the sliding door, if you will, for the split screen. Anyway, part of the beauty, of course, is the photos, what I'm talking about, because this is such a beautiful area. Um, that's how that works. Now, I wanna get into the contrast and detail section next. Okay, so first up is this contrast section, and um, there are two products that Topaz has had for a long time. One is called Topaz Clarity, and the other one is called Topaz Detail. And this contrast section is Topaz Clarity. And this detail section, which I'll go ahead and open up and show you, is Topaz Detail. So you're technically getting Topaz Con uh, Clarity and Topaz Detail, both of which are now built into Topaz Studio as pro adjustments that you have to purchase. You're basically getting those within this product. And so it's kind of a you know, a benefit, I guess, is, is the easiest way to say it. It's a great addition to the product, and it gives you a massive amount of control over what you do with your image. And frankly, I think it's it's wonderful that they included this. Here's the best part, and I wanna read this and make sure that I have it right. I gotta read my notes. Any current user of Topaz Adjust, which is their original version of this, which is on, I don't know, version five or six or something. Um, as I said, I've had several versions over the years. But anyway, if you own Topaz Adjust, or Topaz Clarity or Topaz Detail, you get Topaz Adjust AI for free. And that's one of the great things about Topaz Labs is if you buy a product, you get all future versions, upgrades, you know, um, dot releases, things like that, you get all that for free. So they never charge you again. You pay this $59.99 minus 15% if you use my coupon code, shameless plug there. Um, but if you do that, um, you can buy Topaz Adjust AI and any future release of Topaz Adjust, you'll get it no charge. So it's a wonderful thing, my friends. Okay, let's talk about the contrast section. This is basically Topaz Clarity. 
So this basically intelligently enhances contrast and dynamic range, and it doesn't create a lot of halos and artifacts. So I'll just come in here and I'll just, I'll just bump up some of the contrast. And the great thing about it is, as you can see, it does a wonderful job really making the photo pop. But if you notice, I'm not picking up artifacts and halos. And so I've just bump, bumped up the contrast in each of these different areas of the photo. And that's what it does. It isolates contrast, micro, low, medium, and high. So you have more contrast control compared to up here where this contrast slider is a global contrast slider. So I think that's wonderful. And then you get into the detail section here. Now this detail, it basically figures out what is detail and what is not. So it's gonna help you crisp up areas that you want crisp without really messing up things you don't want messed up, right? So it's a lot more than just edge contrast. It's very intelligent because it divides it into sections based on small, medium, and large details. So, um, you know, you can just drag these sliders. That's kind of crazy. That's actually really crazy. You can drag these sliders as far as you want, but, um, you know, obviously a judicious, judicious, use of them is, is recommended because you can go crazy quickly. On a photo like this, I'd probably move up medium detail a little bit and maybe large detail a little bit. And you can see the tree line. Uh, in fact, let me just uh, uh, zoom in a little bit. Um, these things I think are looking really beautiful. Let me show you the original and the current state, right? So they're looking really nice, I think. Um, but here's another cool little trick, and that is you have these boost sliders. And so if you um, I think it does a great job of enhancing the detail without creating artifacts and noise in the areas where you don't want it. So for example, I don't want a noisy sky and I don't want noisy water. Um, but these boost sliders, you can actually take them and you can go to the negative. Uh, so if you go left, it'll start smoothing those things out. Um, so um, in fact, it's probably best just to do it in the small detail area. I start taking these small details and you can see like here it is before, right? A little bit noisy if I go high on the boost, but if I start going this way, you sh I, hopefully you can tell in the video, but the water and the sky are just getting really smooth, which I think looks wonderful. And yet I'm maintaining the detail and the nice crispiness in the mountains and the tree line, and even in a bit of the reflection, which I think looks really good here. So that's basically how that works. And again, that's the same as, as Topaz Detail, also known as Precision Detail, which is a pro adjustment in studio. Okay, and the last couple of sections here, you do have split toning, which if you've seen any of my other videos, I love split toning. That's all caps, love split toning. It's the greatest thing pretty much ever invented for photographers, I think. Um, it allows you to separate the highlights from the shadows and pick a color and an intensity or saturation level for each. So in this one, you might want a little bit more blue in the highlights. So you take the highlight hue over to the blue on this slider, and then the saturation, you just drag it to the right, and it'll start to put more of that blue into the highlights, right? I don't really need it in this photo. In fact, maybe a little bit. Uh, I kind of like my colors. Um, and then shadows, right? You might pick it to go blue, or maybe you want to go more green in the shadows, which you know you probably wouldn't normally pick green in the shadows, but these shadows are kind of green, so it's kind of bringing that up. I don't know that I do very much split toning on this particular image, but I think it's a wonderful addition uh, to having it, uh, or to have uh, here in Adjust AI. And the last thing they've added is grain. And so if you wanna create kind of a film look where you want some grain, not something I normally do, but you can add that in here and adjust the size and that sort of thing. So that's another component of this. Um, you can also make your own presets. You just go up here and say plus, and whatever preset you wanna name it, and you choose a collection to stick it in. I usually stick them in general, and then you just hit save, right? Um, that's really it, my friends. I just wanted to give you a high level, quick um, first look video of, at Topaz Adjust AI. It goes on sale today at the link below. And again, that's an affiliate link. You can also use my name, Jim Nix, as a coupon code to save 15%. And hit me up down below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them for you. And I hope you enjoy this product as much as I am. I've been editing a lot of photos. Actually, uh, probably every photo I've edited this week, I've been editing in Topaz Adjust AI. And I'm having a lot of fun with it, my friends. So thanks again for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. And um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Take care and adios.